We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. The Stranger versus Beast in one-on-one. -on -one. What map are we on? Shakur's Plateau? Shakur's Plateau. That is correct. The Stranger, for all of you who don't know, should get to know him right now. He is a good friend of mine. Uh, a friend IRL in real life. <laughs> I call him Earl. In real life, though, <laughs> that is Quaffle's friend, so Quaffle is rooting for him. Beast is also yep. in Quaffle's clan. Um, you yep. guys have seen a lot of Beast, I'm sure, because mainly because he is always on when we're casting, and whenever we can't find a guy, we look through the sites, we check people out. Not everyone's down to play such high-level players, and Beast is always down for the competition, so you do see a lot of him. But please, please, if you have good games, send them in to whysoserious.quaffle at gmail.com. We will cast mm -hmm. them and throw you up on our site. So if you guys see an abundance of Beast and are getting mad, just send in your replays, and we will cast you as well. Absolutely. And uh, we see the positions are going to be on the bottom. So we have a nice little vertical line. If you were to draw a straight line from the bottom of the map, and go right, you would hit Beast's base. Yep, so they are kind of close by uh, by air. It's a little bit closer than land, so we'll yep. see. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Stranger's gameplay, if he likes to, if he likes to abuse the uh, the medevac drops, but that is also mm -hmm. going to be very uh, viable in this game. He, I played him a lot, and he loves tanks. Tanks, he, right on. He likes, he likes mech play. Good. But uh, I've also seen him do a lot of bio play, so... You know, we could see a variety from him. I'm going to guess that he's going to do drops in this position. He did. Uh, he was the one who asked for Shakuras, and he did request that Beast play Protoss. So um, he does have. I'm sure he's got a strategy in mind. He is a guy that, you know, when he plays, he plays with a strategy already yeah. set in his mind. Yeah, um, yeah, absolutely. And we see. Um... You know, Beast is playing Protoss. He does play random, so he's very familiar. He's a great player with all the different races. Um, this will be good. This will be good. Yeah, and the Stranger does uh, snipe that pro. Beast was trying to juke him, but the Stranger didn't want to have any of that, so he just ended <laughs> that probe's life. Yeah, the Marine's got one one kill under his belt, walking down into the ramp like a boss, just sitting there. Heck yeah, look at that guy. He's, he's so killer. cool. He's so cool he's, right now. <laughs> he's, he's the guy... He's the Marine where uh, another Marine walks up. He's like, what's up, dude? And the guy's like, sup. And yeah, the Marine just... that walked up is like thinking to himself, God, that guy's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> just this, God, that guy has so many kills under his belt. Oh, just a strong, silent type. I like it. Yeah. He's the kind of, that's the kind of guy where uh, all the ladies love and the guys love to hate him. Yep. He's he is so a cool. hater Marine. We'll see how long he lasts in this battle. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta keep a note on this guy. Let's yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. He's probably gonna get destroyed. We're gonna by... call him the we're gonna call him uh the Joker Marine. That okay, that good? that is that is Joker. It's a good description of you, you know. Yeah, kinda, I, I'm kind of like wants to that. be like you, and all the ladies <laughs> want you, you know. Oh man. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just putting you on awesome. the spot all the time. I know, I know, you messed up. Stranger <laughs> is dropping down a fast expo along with Beast. They drop down their expos at about the same time. Uh, it looks like the stranger has about a a little bit of a lead with his yep. down. And Beast, we back at his base, we see two gates and Chrono Boost and not warp gate. So it's a it's a safe it, economical expand. Economic, yeah. economical, whatever you Econom want to yeah, call it. Yeah, you got that right. And uh, for the stranger, we see about two more racks going down. So it's going to be a marine. Or it's going to be a Looks like he's going to go into a bio game. Cool. Uh, we see a pro about to poke up the line. Is the Joker Marine going to get another kill? Come on. Oh, it was no. a different one. But I do have my eyes on him. He's in the top of that ramp, and he is a boss still. He will survive this whole game. Yeah, but you know what? That that kill isn't as important because when the Joker killed it, it was just him, man. Yeah, man. He was even no one else. himself, the lone soldier. He is awesome. <laughs> in fact, he was the only one there. <laughs> when the expansion went down like, he was like I got this guys and you all the lady SUVs up. were like oh, oh you cracked me up <laughs> lady SUVs they don't let ladies into Starcraft battles no way oh the Banshees sorry the Banshees were like oh yeah oh, true the God. Banshees 
They were loving it. Anyways, we do have these thrown in an in expo up here. It's the third. Ooh, a quick third. Very it's risky. And very we've seen in, We've seen from past casts that Beast loves to play a little bit risky. If you don't scout him, you're going to get punished. Absolutely, absolutely. And it looks like Beast is moving in with a little army right here. Mm -hmm. um, we got two sentries, three zealots, and a stalker, and a probe. Going to poke up this. Stranger's going to be able to fend anything off right here for sure. Yep. The stranger sees it now. and Ooh, nice little force field. Doesn't oh. trap any units. I just want to note that uh, Joker Marine has two kills. He is the top oh, guy right by that Marauder. He is just, he's going to not be a recruit for much longer. <laughs> this, guy, <laughs> this guy, this Marine is just oh, that a is, boss. That is funny. All right, so, so what we do we see, got uh, going The here Stranger for in the lead in, uh, Stranger in the lead in, in Worker Count, and he also has two mules mining as well. So this gives him a... Uh, Let's check out, let's bring up the income tab. It's uh, just over 1,000 to just under 1,000. Actually, just boosting up to about 1,400 there. Ooh. That's pretty intense. Yeah, definitely some meals coming in. Um, stint back being researched by the stranger. It's almost done right now. Plus one's weapon, plus one's defense. A couple marauders coming out. And we do see that Twilight Council for, um, for Beast just getting done. What is he going to make out of that, you think? Uh... Where is this Twilight Council? It's right at the back of Beast Base. Sneaky, sneaky. Ooh, oh, charge. it's going for charge, which is awesome against Terran Bioballs. Absolutely. And uh, he doesn't have any Robotech or Stargate, so it looks like he's going to go heavy gateway this game. Maybe cool. he'll throw down a High Templar or a Dark Shrine pretty soon. Yeah, that would be cool. We see the Starport coming out for the Stranger and an Armory. Um... Just probably going to be getting some medevacs out of that. Yep, yep. Looks, looks like he's going to swap it. Do you think with the uh, reactor going down on the factory to get some, some dual medevacs coming out, possibly? Absolutely. And uh, we don't see a third from the stranger, so this could possibly be a timing attack. He is uh, now researching plus two on his infantry weapons. Ooh. And Beast has now started to saturate his third, so... He needs to start doing some harassment or something, otherwise Beast is going to get a huge economic advantage. Yeah, Beast has the Templar Archives almost done. High Templars. Oh. I mean, for some reason, Beast always makes the perfect units. Yep, he does. He makes great units for army compositions. I don't know if he, like, he just has a great game sense. I don't know why. He does. We, we've seen him in sense. other casts and just charge zealots and storm versus marine marauder balls. What a great composition. It's a beautiful composition. The only thing you have to watch out for is that your charge lots don't run into the storms. A lot of people can make that mistake. Uh, they'll just kind of like, like, so yeah. let's go. Yeah. Storm Zealots the army. Just, yep. <laughs> Zealots are very angry at the boss high Templars for just warming up their backs with electricity. And we see a big group oh, yeah. of the stranger moving out with Ooh, some uh, medivacs. Timing. Beast is not going to have a storm up. By the time this battle commences, he does have charge, and yeah. uh, it's about to it's about to hit the fan. And it looks like uh, Beast has plenty enough to uh, hold this as long as he holds at his choke and not at, um, not anywhere else. <laughs> yeah, the, you see a little concave for the strangers oh, getting a nice yeah. concave what on that he? army. I really like that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Just kind of like a, a contain. Yep. He Man. doesn't know about the third yet, so uh, this contain isn't too major since Beast is already technically broken out, and he does have Storm now. Oh, the Storm uh, is done, and the yeah. Stranger backs off. Smart decision. Yeah, if he were I, to I run up he that He spotted ramp. those High Templars, I believe, and kind of backed yeah. off, trying to rethink his army composition a little bit. Yeah, he saw those High Templars and thinking, I do not want to run up a small choke. <laughs> no. Into no. Storms. It's a rainy day. You know, yep. <laughs> I, I have to agree with these guys. I do not like getting wet. And, uh, <laughs> if I'm swimming, that's cool. You know, I'll go to the yeah. beach, hang out, get a little tan. They but, will uh, storm you. They yeah. will turn your great day into a rainy, sh I'm going to say shitty because that's yep. what it is. It's, it's a shitty day, yeah. Yep. When, it's, when it's shitty out, it's like thunderstorming and raining. Yeah. Who wants to go out in that? Do you, no do you one, no her? one. But we, but it looks like <laughs> strangers throwing up some bunkers so we can be sheltered from the storms. Ooh, that's a good idea. We're turning this into like a graphic novel or something. I don't know. 
Heck yeah. <laughs> no, but it's, it's I like idea. how Beast throwing up a few um a few uh, photon cannons up this third, you know, just to be able to react if any armies come up here, hold them off, yep. just in time for his army to get totally. there. We definitely got to watch Beast, though. He does do crazy drops, crazy warp ends, just in case, but he is moving out with a big group of charge lots. He has one, two stalkers in that army. Very zealot heavy, and the storms yeah. are about to commence. This is really cool. I don't think this is going to work, though. Some needs, really good micro from the stranger is going to be able to hold this off just fine. He needs to get in those bunkers. That's what needs to happen. He has no Heck guys yeah. in the bunkers right now. It's about to rain all over his arm. Oh, he's actually going straight for the third. Oh, oh and he's going to be able to wall that off with those sentries to delay oh. it long enough. Oh, I'm, great. I think that's what, oh, those high templars are all going to die. Oh, they're all oh getting, and they God, get some the, storms off. High, little bit of oh wow, he lost all those high templars. They were just out of place. That is so much minerals and gas. Huge advantage for the stranger at this point. Yes, but uh, he, Beast is now trapped inside that. Um, he's now trapped up there, <laughs> so all this army is going to die eventually, unless he gets some like warp prisms out or like a mothership and recalls them. And they oh, don't live long I don't see that happen anytime soon. He's <laughs> yeah, trapped. Yeah, they do so uh, he needs to. I mean. I've seen Beast come up with some crazy, crazy strategies, do some crazy harassment drops, but uh, mm -hmm. what the Beast is doing right now, he's actually containing this army up there because he knows this. As long as I prevent the Protoss from getting any type of uh, warp ships up there or warp prisms, yeah. why did I call them warp ships? I don't know. No. It sounded well, oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I'm gonna watch the map because. Beast is in a lot of trouble. He's going to need to do some harass here pretty soon. Uh, he lost so many high Templars. That was the huge turning point. And we do yeah. see Stranger going for 3-3 three, three upgrades. He's going to have such a strong army. And it looks like he's moving out right now. Scary. Yeah, Stranger is going to say, okay, you can keep your units up there all you like. I'm going to send my guys to go kill you. Oh, wow. And Beast sees it because he controls the bottom watchtower. So oh, and Beast is moving out with here. the Zealots and high Templars to fight this big Marauder army. And... At the meantime, Beast is also army is moving into his natural bunch of great storms. They are a pretty nice placement of those storms. Didn't hurt the zealots too much. And we yeah. see Beast's uh, charged lots are up in Stranger's base. And Ooh, and there's huge storms. They, the Stranger stays in them a little bit too long, and all these marauders are in such low health. One slice from a zealot kills them, all of them. Gosh, and over here we just have a bunch of High Templars that are unguarded. They have no zealots to guard them right now. Yes, but if we look back in the Stranger's base, there's zealots from before that are ripping apart everything in the stranger's uh natural he's in a lot of trouble right now he really needs to get his uh oh wow he needs, he needs to, to get mining pumping units out yep and we'll be able to hold this off i like the uh, the stranger's decision to go uh hellion and marauder although That's cool. if those I'll, if those hellions get storms he's in a lot of trouble because they're so fragile yeah, that's cool. I like that's that cool. army composition. Um, Beast is taking a fourth. Beast has just a smart decision making. He has a huge econ advantage with 89, 90 probes oh to Stranger 63. So if the Stranger doesn't do something scary pretty soon, Beast is moving out with another formidable army. So many high Templars. Those guys are going to be able to wreck those Marauders. Yeah. And uh, this is going to hurt. This This could be... A nice final push here because uh, Beast did have the smart decision by taking out um, the Stranger's third. Well, Beast is yeah. sitting on four bases right now, just a commanding lead. Yeah, and uh, the Stranger has to realize now that he's now very down in the economy because he does know about that third, and he has to assume by now that that fourth is up. So he has to do something with his units. He needs to go harass. He needs to make a drop he needs to expand. oh beast is going to engage and these charge lots are going to shred these marauders just with ease no storms yep. yet oh look at those force fields great force fields and oh and storm like, right in the middle oh my gosh the hellions went to go try to kill off these uh these high templars they got quite a bit of them but it looks like beast army is going to come out on top yep and this is going to be a gg yep. and there it is gg G -G. gosh just we we have yet man what am I trying to say? Beast is just great army composition in a lot of his games. Great awareness. He gets perfect units out. He's tough to beat. Someone, come join our chat that will beat Beast up, and we will cast you. 